When you get up in the morning, it is important that you have breakfast. Cereals like bread are high in a plant energy storage molecule called starch. Plants make starch by joining glucose molecules together in a chain. When we eat starch, enzymes break the starch down into single glucose units, which enter the bloodstream and circulate around the body, reaching blood vessels of the pancreas. Inside the pancreas, glucose in the blood passes by beta cells in the islet of Langerhans. Beta cells recognise that blood glucose concentration has increased and respond by producing a peptide hormone called insulin. Insulin is hydrophilic. The increase in blood glucose triggers the beta cells to release their stores of insulin by exocytosis. So insulin enters the bloodstream. Glucose can only cross cell membranes with the help of protein channels that span the membrane. These are called glucose transporters. All cells have glucose transporters so glucose can enter the cell, where it is used as an energy source so cells can keep working. Some cells work very hard. They need more glucose than others and use most of it immediately. These cells include brain and muscle cells. Other cells store excess glucose for later use. Liver cells store glucose by building chains of glycogen. Fat cells convert glucose to lipids for storage if the liver is full. Muscle cells need a lot of energy. They have a mechanism that allows them to increase glucose uptake from the blood. Spanning the membrane of muscle cells is an insulin receptor. When insulin binds to this receptor, phosphates attach to the receptor inside the cell. This activates the receptor to recruit intracellular proteins that are in turn activated. This prompts another membrane-bound protein to act as a second messenger. The second messenger moves to vesicles inside the cell that store glucose transporters. It switches off a protein that keeps these vesicles inside the cell, so they now move to the cell membrane where glucose transporters are inserted. This allows larger amounts of glucose to enter the cell. The blood glucose levels return to a set point. For now.